For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now they're asking us to determine the smaller force, the smallest force F must be applied uh, in the rope in order to cause a curved rod to fail, which has a radius of five feet to fail at the support C. This requires a moment of 80 pounds per foot. So you know that the moment that F creates above C in order for the rod to fail, it's gonna be 80 foot pounds, pounds per foot. And you know that the moment that F creates above C is given by vector CA cross F because to find the moment above C, you need this vector CA and you need the Cartesian vector form of F and you do the cross product. That's how you find the moment. So let's find all the points involved first. The points involved are A, B and C. A is zero in the I plus five sine of 60 in the J plus five cosine of 60 in the K, which is equal to zero in the I plus 4.33 in the J plus 2.5 in the K. B sets at zero in the, uh, six in the I plus seven in the J plus zero in the K. And C sets at zero in the I plus zero in the J plus five in the K. So the first thing to do is to find vector CA. Vector CA is vector A minus vector C and it comes out to be zero in the I plus 4.33 in the J minus 2.5 in the K. Now we gotta find F. You know that the magnitude of F is actually just F because we don't know it. Sorry, that's kind of confusing. The 60 pounds is for the previous problem. We're trying to find F. So let's just call the magnitude of F, F. You know that F is given by the magnitude of F times the univector AB. So now we need to find the univector AB. To find the univector AB, you find it by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude. So we need to find vector AB, which is given by vector B minus vector A, which is equal to six in the I plus 2.67 in the J minus 2.5 in the K. The magnitude of this vector is given by doing the square root of the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. So when you plug in these three values into this formula, you get that the magnitude is 7.03. And when you divide each of these three values by its magnitude, just that's how you find the univector AB. And it comes out to be 0.853 in the I plus 0 0.380 in the J minus 0.356 in the K. So you know that F is given by the magnitude, let's call the magnitude F times the univector. So 0.853 F in the I plus 0 0.380 F in the J minus 0.356 F in the K. This is the Cartesian vector form of F. So now, the moment that F creates about C is given by CA cross F. So what we do is you draw your matrix I, J, K, C, A, uh, we found what well, we found it right here, and it's zero, 4.33, negative 2.5, and the Cartesian vector form of F is 0.853F, 0.380F, and negative 0.356F. So what you do is you redraw your first and second column, IJ, 0, 4.33, 0, 
0.853F, 0.380F. You do your positive diagonals, positive, positive, positive. So I times 4.33 times negative 0.356 is negative 1.54 f in the i j times negative 2.5 times 0.853 is negative 2.13 f in the j k times 0 times uh, 0.380 f is 0 in the k so now you do your negative diagonals negative 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 0.853 times 4.33 times k is negative 3.69 f in the k 0.380 negative 0.380 times negative 2.5 times i it's positive 0.95 f in the i and negative negative 0.356 times 0 times j is zero when you add this up together you get that this is equal to negative 0.59 f in the i minus 2.13 f in the j minus 3.69 f in the k so this is the moment that f creates about c but we're looking for the force that will make it fail so let me get some more room. So I'm going to rewrite. I'm going to rewrite it so to have it on screen. The moment that F creates about C, we just found this. I'm just rewriting it here. <clears throat> Came out to be negative 0.59F in the I minus 2.13F in the J minus 3.69F in the K. Let me make sure. Yeah. So this is the moment we just found. But we're not given a Cartesian vector form, we're given a magnitude. And how do you find the magnitude of a vector? Well, we did it before, is the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. This is the x component, this is the y component, and this is the c component. So you plug them into this formula, including the f variable, and you get that this is 0.59f square plus 2.13f square plus 3.69f square. When you square all these and you add them together, because they're all going to be uh, attach the variable f square you're gonna get that this is equal to 18.5 f square which means that this is equal to 4.3 f now on this side we know that the magnitude of the uh, the magnitude that f creates about c is 80 pounds so this is just 80 80 80 and then as you can see, all you got to do is solve for f by dividing 80 by 4.3. And you get that the force is equal to 18.6 pounds. That means that this force of 18.6 pounds creates a moment of 80 foot pounds, which is the minimum moment that will make this rod fail. So anything greater than 18.6 pounds or 18.6 pounds will cause the rod to fail. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.